So today we get a new hotfix for Borderlands 3, nothing massive but I still thought I'd bring you a video covering what's going to be changed and addressed in future updates and so what they speak about we're going to get into. Also people it seems as though still the clone and moles and the iron bear and not being touched which is and means happy days. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play it on, amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, links within the video description. Okay so, today July 9th 2020 we receive a new hotfix, it will arrive on all platforms by 12pm PST. And they state, this week's hotfixes address some reported concerns. We are still monitoring the feedback from the character changes around the previous patch and identifying what we would want to adjust and how. As usual, to apply hotfixes, wait at the main menu until you see that sign that says hotfixes applied. Okay, so some players have expressed an interest in shields that do damage to enemies being scaled with mayhem. We are looking to add mayhem scaling to those shields in a future update. While assessing, we noticed that the change that allowed Mayhem gear to spawn in chests and vending machines also applies to the guns that spawn with enemies. This results in a Mayhem 10 enemy's weapon doing Mayhem 10 damage to its target. This wasn't initially intended, and we are monitoring how this is affecting difficulty in higher levels of Mayhem, and are looking into how it could be addressed in a future patch. Patched a hole in the atrium of the Bounty of Blood campaign add-on to prevent players from busting through the wall and seeing the other side. Addressed a report of concern that some damage effects from Lucky 7 sometimes did not function after exiting Iron Bear. And that is the actual whole hotfix people for this week. And we are yet to see or hear of any changes that may be made to the Digiclone or Moses Iron Bear. And in actual fact, I've seen a lot of other builds like uh, Moxie's recent melee build with Amara which is just ridiculously stupid. I mean if you haven't seen that definitely check out his channel, it's one of the most powerful builds I have ever seen. And the way in which we know Gearbox do work, one would expect nerfs to hit these recently buffed uh, areas of the game. I.e. the Digiclone which is just crazy now with a crit build. Moses Iron Bear which is even more crazy and melee builds in general and builds based around that melee and stacking efficient damage via melee and melee attacks. I mean all these were basically changed within the last few patches and the impact these builds are having on the game. I mean I don't really want to say it but I think we know as a whole as a community that these changes may come. Nerfs may happen but I do think the game is getting a little bit too easy now. But hey, that's just my opinion. I mean, you may not feel the same, which is fine. Just let me know down below in that comment section. What I do hope they do, because obviously you guys know I'm a Zane main. They do nerf the clone slightly because he's quite powerful now. I do hope they do indeed buff that Sentinel because the Sentinel's only really being used because of the enormous it offers on weapons. I mean, the Sentinel itself isn't too powerful. I mean, I can think of many buffs to the Sentinel, like the debuffs it drops on enemies and so much more. I feel it could be a great, great action skill besides the anointments and weapons it allows you to use. So yeah, although we've gone another week with no mention or changes to our beloved Vault Hunters and their crazy action skills, I still do personally think we will see changes in the future. But that's just my opinion. I mean, we've all played this game long enough now, we know how Gearbox roll. If something is kind of overpowered and we've seen this many times in the past, they will bring them down a touch. Let's just hope they only bring them down a touch though, like I said, and not just make them unusable like the Digiclone was before. Well, it wasn't unusable, but he never actually used the Digiclone for the Digiclone's benefits. Now, the Digiclone is what it's all about. But we will see, people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Just a quick one, bringing you guys this week's hot fix. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.